So here we are. Unfortunately, Mooner 2 is the one that doesn't have lights, and that's uh, my bad on that part. I had promised lights, but didn't give it to you. Okay, this is 1 hour and 37 minutes. Let me just quickly check on uh, Mooner 3 to see how long it has before its moon encounter. Alright, and how's James doing? 3 hours and 29 minutes. Okay, that's excellent. So we have plenty of time to get uh, stuff in order uh, without uh, worrying about the other missions. Alright. So let's do this thing. Alright, actually I didn't uh, stop recording through the, the what you got, um, serial influence change and it seemed to hold out but I, I think it's a little bit unpredictable when it decides to crash and when it doesn't so it really shouldn't do that. Could definitely have crashed there. Okay, uh, we want to get into orbit first because I want to ensure that we're landing at different spots and, you know, interesting spots. So, I'm going to tweak this a little bit. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can just... Right, uh, let me see how much this is costing here. No wrong way. Oh, actually, that's worse. Wow. Okay, this is all messed up. Oh, it's like that, is it? Okay. Well, we'll keep it to that. Alright. Uh, 107 minutes. That should be plenty of time before we meet up with that one. Bit of an inclination, but that's fine. Need to keep that periapsis up. Okay, that's good enough. So we are in orbit around the moon. Periapsis, apoapsis, let's get a temperature reading. Oh, okay, now we're in the dark. This is probably not the right pod to do a temperature reading with. I should have turned on the lights on the other one next uh, the, that time. Uh, okay, temperature scan in space near the moon, 24 science for recovery. It is on the pod, so we will be able to recover it. And uh, looks like good orbit. I don't see it hitting anything. So let's uh, switch over to James. Right, let's turn on the lights ahead of time just cause, uh, so that we don't uh, miss that. And... Alright, and let's get into the Moonar Sphere of Influence. And let me just take a peek. That's way over there, so that's fine. Okay. And put this into a slightly higher. No, no, don't switch to it. Don't switch to it. Put it in a slightly higher orbit here. Okay, well, it happens to be at the periapsis that we're going to be at, so it wants to. Uh, no, no, don't do that. Don't want that. There we go. And orbit. Very well. Ah, Kerbin, moving in the right position to cover the sun. Good Good that we have lights, otherwise that would be very annoying once the sun no longer shined on our spacecraft. Though it does depend on the edges apparently. This is a better look. Oh, I passed the maneuver, no bomb, messing around with the view. 
but this one's higher up so uh, the periapsis isn't quite as delicate okay let's call that good enough right now uh, well, uh, shall we wait for... well, it's best not to try and do a landing while that's still on its way. Let's switch to it and get into orbit. Right, good old Harbury Kerman, looking scared now. But don't worry, we'll get to you all lined up. This is a totally different approach. Oh, and its periapsis is in four hours. You know, this is a long time. Two hours and 36 minutes. Four hours. We could, we could finish up what we're doing uh, over there anyway. This is probably going to end up more than one episode. I don't know where I'm going to end up chopping it up, but... Uh, yeah, I think we need to start uh, landing some stuff. Let's go back to Mooner 2. Mooner 2 is the one that really, really needs to be in the light. I mean, of course, it's better that all of them are in the light, but... Let's say we land in this crater, huh? Seems like a good place to land. Mm -hmm. Aim for the furthest edge of it. Let's see what we can do about the inclination. I think that'll be good. That's fine. We are coming around this way, right? I want to make sure that we're going in the direction I oh no we're going around the opposite direction uh, okay let's change that hmm is there a better location over here I guess we could just set down I guess it's gonna be the Midlands one way or another we definitely haven't set down anywhere on the moon so or we could force the issue into this crater. Let's let's try that. Oh wow, that's a lot. So it skims the surface in that case, though. Best to do it uh, more cautiously then. Let's do it over here. Right, that's the sort of idea I'm looking for. Let's get it up here. Yes, this is a good way to go down. All right, six minutes. There's our craft. Okay, looks like it's about time. All right, and let's get the gear down in prep. We'll do most of the deceleration on this stage, obviously, with so much left of it, but ultimately we have to land without it. Let's go retro. Okay, let's time warp to where we have to start doing our business around here mm. yeah this is good enough and I'll take it from this screen so that I can see where whether we're on one of the rust spots or not okay
Okay, that's sort of our landing location right there. I'm doing this cautiously rather than efficiently because I have a lot of fuel in this stage and I usually like to do things cautiously. Ideally you'd want to follow the retrograde marker down and that's but that's a little bit dicey. Also, ideally, you'd want a single continuous burn, but that is also, while efficient, not an easy thing to manage without uh, substantial calculation ahead of time. Let's. Uh, seems like I should head a little bit north. Oh, I seem to be hitting this crater here. I don't like that. Let's see where that is. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, I don't know what the train is like, so let's not take any chances on that part either. Altitude readings, so. And let's sort of get into sort of a hover mode before dumping this stage. Okay, well, that's good enough. Let's see how far that is once it uh, impacts the surface, perhaps. This stage is very overpowered right now. I could have used those little LV1s, but, but there's also the... You know what, I think we have to not stay looking at that thing and start really thinking about this. Landing lights would have helped, but we don't have them. Oh, I'm going up now. Okay, well that surface is not too far away. Well, on my monitor, I can't really see the surface features very well right now. Let me try this view. It could be pretty far up from the thing. Still can't see where it is. You're very much wasting fuel. It just constantly looks like uh, the land is approaching, but I can't see very well. 
the missions with lights on will be much easier. Head ball seems to be fine. Okay, good, good, good. Now we've got it. Alright, finally sit down. Okay, Ed Ball is on the surface. And let's do a goo experiment. Goo seems less dense here. East Crater. Okay, keep data. Let's do uh, log temperature. Okay, very good. Keep that data. And yeah, Ed Ball, your turn. Ed Ball, could you get the goo container stuff yet, or is that not a thing? I don't know if you can get it from here. And actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it at all. Oh, okay, don't knock your entire craft. This is very important. Okay, uh, can you reach up there or no? Hmm. I guess they're gonna have to... I don't know. Alright, uh... Uh, collect data. Remove data. Okay. All I am stored. Alright. So he's got the Google data. Very nice. And I think it's time. It is time to take a surface sample. Very good. 120 science. EV report for 32 science, and he looks very small when he looks at the sky for Kerbin. Let's not try that. And finally, plant a flag. Alright. Ed Ball at East Crater. Great Crater. And as I always do, let's put the date. Uh, I'm not going to come up with anything clever. Mission 1 of 3. 3 for the defense of Kerbin. Fine. Okay. That's good enough. Let's get you back in the pod and see if it can get into orbit and back home. Otherwise we're not going to land the others. Ed Ball's uh, trip was the trickiest one because we didn't have... Okay, grab. Grab. Uh, because we didn't have the lights to see how far down the surface was. Of course, I'm, I'm always pretty bad at that. Okay, uh, let's just make sure that... Well, I mean, he's in orbit. And... Uh, he looks to be arriving. You know what, let me switch to Mooner 4 for a bit. Uh, we're, all, we're all safe and stood away here. Let me just check up on Mooner 4. Okay, here's Harbury. Let's see. Okay, Harbury is still two hours away because he's making the loop and going like that. Okay, uh, so we've got time to lift off with uh, Ed Ball. So, Ebal Kerman must now make his trip home. Let's see if he's got the fuel to do it. He's essentially uh, emptied this bottom... Uh, this bottom tank. Okay, well, it's not bothering to show me it. Well, let, let's actually empty this bottom tank just for my own sensibility there. But basically, it's just that tank is expended on the trip down, and then this tank will take us up and back to Kerbin, I guess. All right, and everything looks good. He's got the data from the goo container. Uh, so this one is expended and doesn't show any more data. Yep, all right, uh, we're heading 90, Edwall. I think we've got all our stuff. Uh, 90, 90, Edwall. Sheesh. Yeah, this is very overpowered. Okay, well, let's just wait until Apoaps. This is what kind of a... Uh, well, that's not the right place to burn for...
Kerbin, but we can plot both at the same time. So we'll have orbit, and then in relation to our orbit, we burn here for back to Kerbin. I'm going to be doing more of this in this series than I've done in previous series. Uh, plotting multiple maneuvers at the same time. Well, that'll definitely bring him in. How much will that cost after this one? 267. It should be doable. These little rockets are obviously not as efficient as the one I used in the previous episode to get Jeb around. About uh, a third less, defi less efficient than those. That one. It was the only one. Wow. This uh, using the mouse wheel is really fine tuning. Except when you go quickly. Huh. Alright, well that'll do. So, with this burn, we'll confirm that Ebal can get home, and therefore the others will be cleared to land. Though, I guess they're a little bit heavier than his craft is. Okay, fine-tune it a little bit there. Okay, so uh, Ebal is on his return, and we can take care of of the other two in the next episode, I think. So I don't know how many I chopped this one into. Maybe I kept it as a single episode, but I think definitely the remainder of this mission with the other two and getting everybody back home will have to be in a separate episode. So. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.